Uh, yes. Talking in the circles And the radio's letting me down All this heat and frustration My bones are dry as a bound But the sky is finally open And the air is finally clean And the rain will bring me comfort It's been so long since I've seen So pull this bucket over And I'll take all the blame but Tonight I feel like being alone And walking home in the rain Walking home in the rain Make me wait in line It won't call me names No, and it won't tell me lies It's just gonna soothe me And soften up my song And take me back to simple things I was afraid were gone it over and I'll take all the blame tonight I feel like being alone and walking home in the rain walking home in the rain Stinson live in the KBFD studio. You know, back when you were in L.A., we were talking about L.A. earlier, um, Dwight Yoakam covered your gr late, great Golden State song, and that's actually on your, your last CD, uh, Jukebox in, in Your Heart. Do you get more mailbox money from the TV shows, the movies, or do, having someone like Dwight Yoakam cover one of your songs? Uh, that's a good question. Um, the having someone like Dwight Yoakam cut your song that, that's that's sustained a longer period of time right you know? I mean wow it was it's amazing I lived off that thing for quite a while you know right well if you got like a theme song in a television show then it'd be played every episode so that probably that, a little bit more money I want to work on that yeah right that's the next, next thing time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cold case thing though man I, that turned out really good too that thing God, they, they, I thought it was just going to be that initial score and I was thrilled about it but then it was like they were sending me thirty five hundred bucks every six months for and that dragged on for four or five years too. Nice, you know, and that was a nice little chunk. It helped out too. Yeah. Um. So, 
Yeah, you just never know. And those those syndicated ones, of course. Are, I was on some of these other shows that that happen and then they go away. But Cold Case, that was an extremely popular show, and and uh, it plays all over the world, and and you know, I still get little checks from that thing. Very nice. And Weeds and and uh, Mad Men and and uh, and the movies too. You know. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I'm all about money. I, I like these guys <laughs> making money, and when it kind of just comes to you, just from you know, not really having to do a whole lot. I I, I guess. Well, it's, it's you know, you put your, your 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 blood, sweat, and tears into into writing the song, and then it's just. But it is intellectual property, and and it can be out there earning money for you while you're hanging in your boxes sweet. at home. Right. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, those things have been blessings every time that happens. Uh -huh. Again, it's not worth, you know, if, if, if you have to decide what it is that you really want to do, if performing and playing your songs is important to you, then uh, that's, you know, that, that's sustained me more than any of that other stuff mm -hmm. um, on just a day to day basis. Uh, and you can pull your hair out trying to convince music supervisors to put your song in their movie, you know what I mean? And some people do, spend all day hustling that stuff. I just don't have the stomach for it, you know? I just, the, the things to, that have happened for me have just been luck shots, you know? Sure. Yeah, who want, I don't want to, you know, as a musician, I wouldn't want to have to go out there and wheel and deal. I just want to, you know, do my shows. Make right, my music I didn't and... get into music to wheel and deal on sure. the phone all day and try to sell something to somebody, you know? But if you just consistently keep uh, trying to put good music in the world, uh, eventually somebody will notice and mm -hmm. and do something with it. You know, and, and they did. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Talk to me about Europe. Have you toured over there with uh, uh, as Mike Stinson? Yeah. Okay. Um, not a great deal. I'd love to tap into that a little more. Really fun. We went to Norway last summer, and, uh, and I've been over there in Switzerland and England and Amsterdam and. You know, every now and then a trip like that comes through. Same thing with this, with the placements in film and TV. You just never right. know when it's going to drop. But every so often somebody calls. You know. Sure, sure. You're uh, you're looking for a new place too. So if there's some some cheap landlords out there that's got uh, a nice place in the neighborhood, call something and uh, hook Mike up with a nice. There place. you go. Thanks. <laughs> no problem, <All> right. man. <laughs> And of course, uh, he does, he's not a real loud guy, but he does like to play his guitar at night, so <laughs> keep that in mind if you've got some neighbors that live pretty close. He is uh, also playing tomorrow night over at Dan Electro's uh, Guitar Bar. Mo Handsome Blues Band is going to be opening. They hit the stage at 9. Right. And you hit the stage around 10.30 or so? Probably so. All right, so it'll be a great show. And uh, once again, who's playing with you in the band? Mark Riddell on bass, Lance Smith on guitar, Jim Calvert on drums. Yeah. All right. Well, great. Well, hopefully we'll get you a spot right here in the neighborhood, and uh, we'll see you uh, see you a lot more often. That sounds good. You bet, man. Have a great show tomorrow night, and uh, as soon as that new CD comes out, make sure I get a copy. Oh, All man, right? you'll get one of the first copies, I promise you. All right, fantastic. Hey, uh, we're going to play one off of the jukebox in your heart, and I think you chose... What did I choose? Uh, Square with the World. Is that is that what, still what we're sticking with? Uh, you want to change it? Why not? I don't know. What do you want? Play the first one. All right, stop the bar. Sure. All right, sounds good. Mike Stinson live in the studio tomorrow night, Dan Electros. And uh, if you want to go, how about caller number seven at 713-526-5738. You'll be uh, on the guest list at the door at Dan Electros tomorrow night for Mo Handsome and, of course, Mr. Mike Stinson, man. Can't wait to hear the new stuff, buddy. Thanks for coming in and sharing your music with us, man. Always a treat. Thanks, Roar. You bet. Have a good time tomorrow night, and uh, we'll see you back here real soon.